This video is sponsored by Paperlike. Hi, Go Game! Welcome back! These are the 10 reasons to buy an iPad Pro 2020 for this upcoming back to school season. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you the only reason I would not buy this device and whether or not it can fully replace a laptop. Let's jump into it. Reason number one, the iPad Pro 2020 will make your wallet a lot lighter. So you don't have to feel weighed down by all the money you could have saved. Jokes aside, the iPad is incredibly light. So let's do a comparison. My phone weighs 203 grams. The iPad, 472 grams. Basically two of my phones. And my laptop, Surface Book 2, which is pretty light by the way, weighs a whopping 1,901 grams. So carrying my laptop is the same as carrying four iPads in my backpack. I think the design and the lightweightness is what you're paying the premium for. Reason number two, the iPad Pro 2020 is perfect for note taking and PDFs. The biggest productivity hack for college is to write on your lecture slides instead of scrambling to write everything down that your professor says. Before the iPad, you have to print out 30 pages of PDFs, so it gets really, really heavy by the end of the semester and you don't even want to take notes anymore. The iPad Pro with its magic pencil has completely transformed the way I take notes. Now I can just simply download the lecture slides and import them into OneNote and draw directly on the slides. This saves a lot of time and a lot of paper. The only problem I have is writing on this glass screen on the iPad doesn't feel very nice. You don't get that tactile feedback as you would get from pencil and paper. So that's why I actually reached out to Paperlike, which is today's sponsor, because they make literally the best screen protector for the iPad. Because writing on the Paperlike screen protector is like writing on paper. You get that sound of paper, and you get that tactile feedback of paper. I think their screen protector is a must have accessory if you are getting the iPad Pro. And I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring this. If you want one, you can use my link in the description to get yours now. Reason number three, AirDrop. Oh baby, this is a magical feature. AirDrop is so fast and it's so easy to use that sometimes I wish I had a MacBook. But PC software I think is better than Mac, so I'm not gonna switch anytime soon. For those of you who don't know, AirDrop is a file transferring system that only Apple devices have and it's lightning fast. I no longer have to upload to Google Drive or email myself back and forth of pictures, PowerPoints, slides, things like that, right? It makes my life a lot easier. Reason number four, the 11 inch iPad Pro 2020 screen size is the best screen size in my opinion for a study device. I would not go for the 12.9 inch if you are thinking about getting this device. And the reason for that is because I see the iPad Pro not as a full functioning laptop, but instead as a study companion to my laptop. So having this small size means it's very easy to carry around and you're gonna make your experience a lot more enjoyable. Reason number five, the Magic Keyboard has completely transformed my iPad experience. I would actually go as far as saying the iPad is a pretty useless device without the Magic Keyboard. Because when I first bought the iPad, my Magic Keyboard arrived a month later. It was like back ordered. During that month, I only used my iPad to watch YouTube or play Mobile Legends. I didn't do anything productive on the iPad. And the reason is because the typing experience was so bad without a trackpad, which only the Magic Keyboard has. Without the trackpad, you type and if you make a mistake, you have to use your fingers to pinpoint the mistake, which is incredibly frustrating and 
time-consuming thing to do. If you try to type an essay, you're gonna get so tired after like 10 minutes. The Magic Keyboard fixes all that with the trackpad and makes the iPad actually a productive device rather than just a content consumption device. And that leads to reason number six. The 120 hertz screen is so beautiful. It's crispy and it looks so smooth and the color accuracy on this screen is really good as well. So it's great for watching Netflix and YouTube because let's be honest, that's what you're probably going to be doing on this device 80% of the time anyway. Am I right? Am I right? Comment down below if I'm right. In addition to that, the iPad Pro 2020 has really good speakers as well. And did I mention the hand feel of this device? Look at this hand. Reason number seven, the iPad Pro 2020 is a really powerful device for creators, graphic designers, and artists because the processor in this is super powerful. I think this device was meant for those type of people who do a lot of heavy photo or video or drawing. I present to you Mona Lisa in the 21st century, my masterpiece. And of course, the writing experience with the Apple Pencil, especially with a paper-like screen protector, is unmatched on any other device. I actually have the Surface Book and I used the Surface Book in comparison to the iPad and it's just not as responsive and it doesn't feel as good. Reason number eight, I find myself being more productive on the iPad Pro than on my laptop. And the reason is this, on the iPad, it's not as good as a laptop for multitasking. And that might be a bad thing, but for me, that's actually a good thing because it forces me to focus on one app and one thing at a time. For example, if I'm writing an essay, it forces me to only look at the notes app. I'm not saying multitasking is bad on the iPad. I'm just saying it's not optimized like it is on the computer. But that's a good thing for productivity. Reason number nine, the iPad Pro 2020 has an incredible battery life. From 100% battery to 0%, I'm averaging seven to eight hours of screen on time. That's incredible. So usually if I'm doing heavy Zoom calls, photo editing or video editing, at the end of the day, my battery will be around 40 to 50%. But if I'm just browsing the web, looking at some YouTube or researching some stuff, at the end of the day, my battery is usually around 60%. You can just leave it, not charge it and use it for a second day, which I tend to do as well. And even if you wanted to bring a charger, look how small it is. It's just a USB-C charger. Reason number 10 is the ease of use. The new iPad OS has improved the experience a lot, especially with the new app optimizations and trackpad support. And unlike a computer, the iPad will never crash on you. You'll never get the blue screen of death. You just turn it on and it works. Okay, so at the beginning I said there's only one reason I would not buy the iPad Pro 2020 and that is because it's expensive. This iPad with the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil costs as much as the MacBook Air. And if you don't have a laptop yet, I suggest you to buy a laptop before you even considering buying the iPad because the iPad cannot fully replace a laptop. On the laptop, the multitasking is still better and some apps have more functionalities on the desktop version. But if you are looking for a note-taking device that's a really, really good companion to your laptop, then look no further than the iPad Pro. You don't need to pick up the most recent version. You can pick up the 2018 version. It will still work with the Magic Keyboard. And there you go, you just saved yourself a couple hundred dollars while still getting pretty much the same thing. But I will say, essential accessories. Please get these because they will make your experience a lot better. Apple Pencil if you're taking notes, a magic keyboard if you wanna actually be productive and not just watch YouTube on this. And of course, get the paper-like screen protector if you wanna have that same 
writing experience as if you were writing on paper, linked in the description below. When Steve Jobs first released the iPad, everyone was laughing at him because honestly, it was so useless. But now, buying the iPad Pro with all its accessories is literally like buying productivity in a package. So the lesson there is, screw the haters and dare to dream. My name is Hafugo and click here to watch my top note-taking tips. I'll see you in that video. Peace!